Alright, what's going on guys? Just wanted to uh, give you some hardware that I recently bought. And this is like NIB hardware. This is not off eBay used hardware. This is NIB. Acer Aspire 7551G. What is the hardware specs and what is it running? Well, right now it's running Kubuntu with KDE 4.6. Yes, I still run 3.5, but I have no qualms about trying new technology and seeing what KDE 4 is still kicking around. Keyboard, full, 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 full keyboard. System specs, 17.3 7 inch screen. 1600 by 900, so 16 by 9 for your wide screen. You have a 2 megapixel webcam, full keyboard. Multi gesture trackpad, um, ATI slash AMD 5650 128-bit interface graphics card with DDR3 1 gig of RAM. Running DDR3 1066 4 RAM, um, four gigs of four gigs of it. Um, debating whether or not to update or upgrade that to. 4 gigs of a faster latency, possibly I'm not 100% sure. Um, hard drive, 500 gig hard drive. I want to say it's only a 5400. There's my bottleneck right there. So this is a full functional desktop replacement that I could probably function with for a good year or two before I felt I needed to upgrade. But anyway, I'm running the NVIDIA proprietary. Uh, AMD proprietary driver, so I shot this, sleep does not work. Anyway, you're going to have your uh, audio in, your audio outlines, you're going to have your one USB 2.0, your HDMI, VGA, there's nothing, and I emphasize the word nothing, on the back of this. You have your Kingston lock, you have your DVD burner, you have two more USB ports, and on the front right here, you have a memory card reader. When I say this thing is thin, I am not lying, guys. I mean, that is it. That is thin. For a 17-inch computer, this is thin. So, overall design is fairly good. Um... Takes a little getting used to, like I said, with the keyboard, but definitely worth the money I paid for it. You can get this right now for six hundred dollars on Newegg. That's one hell of a deal, considering this goes for eight fifty normally. Again, it's an AMD tri-core system, running two point two gig gigahertz per core. You get a dedicated fifty six fifty card with DDR three. Your interface is a little bit limiting. It's one hundred twenty eight bit, but it's better than a sixty four, and not as good as a two fifty six. If you guys are looking for something that's a desktop replacement or you're in that market, this is the kind of machine you guys want to get. Do your homework, look for what you're looking for, and look for a price range that's affordable for you guys. You know, you do not have to go and spend $1,500 on a, you know, Alienware or whatnot. You can look at Gateway. You can look at desktop replacements. They will function just as well. It's you have to know your homework. You have to do your homework in order to actually be the best consumer and informed consumer. And that's how I found what I was looking for. And I hope that you guys see that what I try to do for you guys is bring you options and show you the choices that you guys can make without having to spend buku dollars for it. Because I got this for 650 after shipping because I overnighted this. But that's what you guys can get. You know, it's just do your homework and you guys can find amazing deals online. Doesn't matter where. So you guys know the deal. Yes, it runs Linux fairly well. Only thing it won't do is the audio for some reason. So. Have an analog controller, have a USB headset, whatever. Um, but, because uh, the microphone in here will not pick it up for some reason. But anyway, 
it works great guys with Linux, Windows, whatever you want to install on it, doesn't matter. Go take a look at it, do your homework, stay informed, you guys know what to do, rate it, subscribe it, peace.